Imagine you were asked to delete an Azure DevOps repository and later the same user asks you that it was a mistake and he wants to recover that. Imagine that panic situation you will be in. And unfortunately, Azure DevOps UI doesn't give you the option to recover a repository. So if you delete a project, you can recover the project. But if you delete a repository specifically, you will not be recovered. By the end of this video, you will know how you can recover the deleted Azure repository. You will need Postman for this particular uh, process. We will use the APIs that Azure DevOps provides to fetch the del deleted repositories. And then we will do a patch request and we will recover our repository. So let's dive into it. First of all, we will try to delete the CI CD database repository. The repository will be permanently deleted. So let me go ahead and you will need to confirm the name of the repository. So I will just copy paste that. Once com confirmed, the repository will be permanently deleted. The permanently deleted, uh, you know, information is a, a bit, uh, you know, vague. It's not correct because you can recover it by using the API. If you go back to our project and try to see the repository, repository CICD database dot get not found. As expected, the repository has been deleted and now we will try to recover it from our postman. If you see my screen, we have got two URLs that we'll be using. The first one is the uh, URL for the deleted repositories. So we'll be querying for any deleted repositories in, in our project. So the URL is uh, dev.azure.com, the organization name, the project name, then the APIs and the deleted repositories. So this is the URL for my project. Let me copy that and let's head back to my Visual Studio code where I've got a Postman extension installed. So I'll be using this to do a get request to see what uh, like which all rep uh, repositories have been deleted in that particular project. It will, you know, the response would be a list or uh, a list of repositories that were deleted. So if you see my uh, extensions, I've got the Postman extension installed. That's what I'll be using. You can have the Postman, uh, the application as well, but I think uh, Visual Studio Code is good enough for me. So this is our window. Uh, we will do a GET request. The URL, I will just use the URL here to get, you know, to get my uh, deleted repositories. Uh, in, author, uh, in authorization, you will use basic authorization and you will need a PAT, personal access token. I will regenerate one. Uh, this has got full access. I'll just copy this PAT. You know, while, while you will be creating this PAT, uh, just give it full access and that should be good for now. Let's head back to our Visual Studio code. Username, just let it be empty and paste your path in the password in your authorization while the type is basic auth. So now let's uh, send the request. It should fetch all the deleted repositories in this particular project, which is fitnessgeek-demo. You can see the CICD database git, that's the name of the repository, repository that we deleted and it's being fetched here in this particular request. The count is one, so we deleted one repository and that's our output. Now we know which repository uh, was deleted and you know we will need the ID of that repository. The second request is a patch request. For this patch request, we will need to, you know, again, uh, request the same uh, get uh, API in our project 
So the URL would be the same dev dev dot azure dot com organization name project name APIs get and then it changes to recycle bin. So we are looking into recycle bin. We are looking into the repositories and the repository ID which you can fetch from your first get request. So this is our ID. Let's copy that. And let's paste it in our URL. So now we are going into recycle bin, repositories, and our repository ID. That's your uh, repo underscore GUID. Once done, uh, you will create a new request page. Uh, you will use patch. Use the URL in authorization, same basic author authentication. And the password will be your pat, which we have copied earlier. Uh, one change is the body. In the body, we'll be passing a uh, deleted equals to false. So we are just, you know, changing that particular flag to false. That's the body will pass and let's send that request. We can see 201 created. That's the response. The name of the repository. And that should do the job. We should have it now recovered in our Azure DevOps UI. Let's head back to our Azure DevOps. Let's refresh this. And as you can see, the repository has been recovered. If we go and check our code in that, let's go and browse our repository. And here you go. Everything has been recovered in this particular repository. So that's how you recover a repository that was deleted in your Azure DevOps project. The URLs uh, can be generated. I'll share that in the description. So you can just use your uh, pro organization and project name and uh, just, you know, follow the instructions and it should be fine. The first is a get request to get the deleted repository. The second request, which actually recovers, is the patch request with the, you know, uh, ID of your repository. So that's all in today's video. I hope this helps and I hope you never, you know, have to face this kind of a panic situation. But if at all you do, this is how you will recover a deleted repository. But yeah, more than 30 days, I don't think you'll be able to do it. So the, the sooner the better. So yeah, thanks for watching and keep supporting.